Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. Grand Theft Auto V, otherwise known as GTA V, released in September of 2013. It is so old to the point you can see the game across three different generations of consoles, and fans have been waiting for so long for a sequel that when you type in GTA V release date, you get, why is GTA 6 taking so long? My grandmother has passed away twice waiting on the release of GTA 6. Now that's besides the point of this video. Now some of you may be wondering why the title of the video is why you shouldn't buy GTA 6. Well, just like the Lord Almighty Take 2, you ask me about that, you make a mod or anything, I'll sue the crap out of you if you ask that question again. Now, despite the title of the video, I'm still going to talk about some of the reasons why you should buy this game. This game's story mode was written by Dan Hauser and a bunch of other people, and boy oh boy, these games did an amazing job writing the story mode. Between the hilarious interactions with GTA 5's most loved main protagonist and the countless memes that have been made by the community based off said interactions, which I'll show you later on in the video, uh, this game is 100% iconic, and if you never played it before, then you must have never touched a game in your life, and have to be older than Muhammad Gandhi. Now to go off the script, the reason why, another reason why you should buy GTA 5. It mainly, one, it's cheap as shit right now, and two, the gameplay is still fun, it still holds up, Graf even after 8 years, graphically it still looks amazing, the map is still fun to play around in, and there's many other reasons why you should do it. One, if you're playing on PC, then you should buy it, so that way you can get into the uh, role play aspect of the game. The no pixel server, a bunch of other servers that you can get into, there's a bunch out there, and the mod community is fucking amazing for this game. It is astounding. It makes my penis hard, and it makes my nipples twist it in a bunch. Now, besides that, I love the story mode to this game, even though that, in my opinion, it has its flaws, it has its qualms and issues, I really do think the story mode to this game is still a Rockstar level thing, and I put Rockstar in a high bracket for story mode games, or story written, or written any anything, any type of storytelling, because they do, they push the threshold, they make every single character, they make every single line interesting, engaging, unlike this video, but that's <laughs> besides the point. I really absolutely fucking love the story mode to this game, and, you, and I really want to express how much I love it. Like, you need to play the story mode to this game. I have played it like 10, 10 times at most, you know? In my opinion, like I, I'm going to reiterate the point, GTA 4 story mode is better, so if you haven't played it, I would play that first. Not that it matters, because they're not anywhere intertwined whatsoever. But, the fact that you have these three characters, Sure, they don't get fleshed out as they should because they're focused on three different characters. And the fact there's a lack of fucking DLC. Thanks, Rockstar. No story mode DLC. It's bullshit. But, yeah, that's besides the point. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, bro? What are you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you'd get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, fuck. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. This is the best quote I can find for GTA 5. Or more importantly, the online. GTA 5's online has netted Rockstar a shitload of money. Why? Shark card sales. Yes, microtransaction. Now, I'm not completely against microtransactions. Actually, sometimes I don't mind them at all, for the most part. But GTA Online is an endless cash grab filled with a lot of grinding to the point if you want to do anything in this game, you ultimately end up debating to yourself if you want to grind a thousand plus hours for a brand new car or just buy it with real life money. Real life money. 
that fancy new card GTA has put in, ooh, maybe I should spend $20 for it, you know? Unless you get really lucky and you get the casino car or whatever, but that's besides the damn thing. Now, with the latest update coming up, we actually are going to finally have some story mode expansion to the main protagonist, such as Franklin. Now, that is kind of exciting, but I have a feeling that Rockstar is going to fuck it up and it's going to be very underwhelming, as usual. Most of their updates are very underwhelming. They add a lot of crap that we don't care about. And another thing that I absolutely hate about the GTA Online is the fact that we have a mute character that we cannot relate to whatsoever. And yeah, I get it. It's hard to have a voice act protagonist and so on and so forth. Or it's not even hard actually. It's really easy. They got a shitload of money. They could totally, they totally, totally have done it. But no, they didn't. Now that's besides the point. Now, why else shouldn't you buy uh, GTA 5? Well, the fact that it's an eight-year-old game and Take-Two does not give a shit about you. Now, what do I mean by this? Take-Two, not long ago, has been taking down people who made mods to court, or people who've been making mods to court. They're trying to, in hopes, take down their mods. Now, I don't want to get into details, so I'm going to link this video I, I watched, and it's very well done. It's very well orchestrated, like, uh, unlike this video, like some ordinary game, uh, by some ordinary gamers. He does amazing work. Uh, Mudahar, I love the shit out of him. Big fan of him. Uh, so I'm going to link that. You guys probably already know about him. Everyone knows about him and Charlie and all that, or Critical. Now, that's besides the point. Now, great mods like GTA RP is based off of a mod. In my opinion, it's the only reason GTA 5 is alive anymore. Well, beside, besides the constant remasters, it, it ends up like, I don't know, it's going to end up, the remasters are going to really end up going to all the way to PlayStation 10 and Xbox whatever the fuck, in my, in my opinion, if this keeps it up. Uh, like, for instance, if... If people keep buying shark cards and keep playing the game, it's going to be forever until GTA 6. Once they see a dip in revenue for the shark cards and online or whatever, they're going to stop updating it. I mean, look at Red Dead Redemption. They haven't touched Red Dead Redemption 2 online in forever because no one's been buying their gold like that. Now, the, the one thing, the worst way to play this, in my opinion, GTA, and the best way to play it, honest, you want to play it on PC, the best way to play it is on PC. The worst way is to play it on Xbox and PlayStation. You're stuck with a grindy multiplayer and have to play to the almighty Rockstar for a semi-okay update to the same system they had. Another reason why Rockstar doesn't care about their fans is due to the latest release of GTA's remaster. I mean, come on, look at all the shady shit they did with that. How how half-assed it was. They got rid of the older games that was ten times better, didn't have as many bugs, actually had the original music, actually had the original uh, f features like co-op for GTA San Andreas. They, they got rid of that off of the Steam store. Now, they reprimanded it, they, they took it back, but the, that's due to public outcry. I don't think it was, if we didn't, if the community didn't get together and say anything, they would have ended up just, hey, here's $60 to play the old games, go fuck yourself, you gotta go look for a PS2 disc to play the old games, which is bullshit. Conclusion, buy GTA 5 for the story mode if you haven't played it, and for the GTA RP, uh, if you're into that. Now, don't buy it because of the grindy online and repetitious nature of the online. And the fact that it's an eight-year-old game, unless unless you like getting pissed on like some R. Kelly shit by Rockstar, do not get it. They do not care about you, and it is end up it's pretty much bullshit if you like honestly what they have been doing with this with the constant re-releases, remastered quotation marks. It, they're not remasters. They're just ports. They're just ports. Every company does that. Remastered for a brand sale. They're just bullshit ports. Now, anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys uh, watching it, this video, and getting to the end of it, if you did. Um, pretty much, I'm glad you all ended up watching the video. This is your boy, Kenor Sea Serpent. I'm signing off. Farewell, my fellow Sea Serpents. I love every single one of you. Stay safe, be healthy, and be careful. <laughs> Until next time. Bye!